my name's Atina. If you're not familiar with me, um, this is the Art Atina Art and Garden Channel. Good morning, and I'm right out here. In today's video, uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm, what I did is I redesigned the whole place. I harvested the tops of uh, a lot of the moringa, <laughs> and uh, gonna be grinding up some of that. It's gonna just be a fun, brief, cool video. Liking, please you leave comments or questions below or how you design your interior space to fit more plants. And I have been buying a lot of plants to do as subjects and or inside some of my paintings and work because I, if you're familiar with my work, I love very colorful. I like bees and you know and just lots of natural subjects. But now I've just started collecting them so that I can paint them. So anyway enjoy the video and again thumbs up subscribe down below it really helps me out and I really appreciate it thank you so much I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I'm grinding up my eggshells and my moringa but my eggshells for the garden yeah, I've been dealing with a little bit of a thrip outbreak. I believe they're thrip. I'm not really sure. But diluted peroxide now. I've tried to take all the trees and wash them. I've tried several things and I decided I'm going to go ahead and harvest and cross my fingers that the moringa are prepared to either go a little dormant for the winter or they're just going to come back. But I just, you know, if you're familiar with my channel, I will have some links below to some previous videos where we've gone plant shopping together. And there's also, of course, art videos if uh, you are interested in relaxing and watching uh, and learning more about watercolors. I do oil paintings and uh, charcoal pastels. So if this is stuff that you really love, then you found a great channel and I hope that you will decide to join us. And there is the, where is that? Is it down here or down here? <laughs> the subscribe button and be sure to like it uh, or, and leave comments and questions it really really helps out so here's the new setup in the place with um i'll just quickly go over really fast with the new lights and um, how many more plants i kind of accumulated together to keep them out of the the um cold this winter i do have some trees outside i bring them in in the evenings it's not that cold quite yet but I do have more room on the racks now, having them pulled away from the wall. But let me know what you would um, do in here, because it is a limited space, and this is working okay, but these trees are getting pretty big. I did repot some, a couple avocado trees that one of the trees in the soil seemed to have gotten root rot, and I wanted to save the other one, so I removed them, and they did, I think I might lose a couple, because they did stress. But these ones are doing really well right here and they do seem to like the light they don't want too much direct light anyway during the summertime these windows get way too much sun and now that it's winter time it's down enough on the horizon to where i'm not getting enough sun so that's why i've been kind of scattering to put up some more lights um, and i've got them outside getting the additional sunshine since it's warm right now but at nighttime like i said i'll bring them in and uh, this right here the variegated fig that I had purchased, the panache, is did turn out to start getting some rust on it. So I've been treating that with one percent, uh, one um, part peroxide per ten parts of distilled water, and I've noticed right away it seems to be working. You can see the variegation, but you can also see it might have mosaic, um, the mosaic virus. Now here are the first two little flowering buds that or a few little flowers here that I have on a moringa that I've got inside and I put it underneath the type of lights that should encourage the flowering and I did not chop the top of that one off and that's why I think it's doing it so I'm going to let that one go because I haven't had a moringa flower yet I know I know and I'm hoping to get one of those these are the papayas some baby papayas they were also struggling from I believe it's thrip I'm not quite sure the bugs getting at it. So I use a 
but I'm going to be using the peroxide for the books too, I think, if it works. And please leave a comment below and let me know. I have heard that peroxide is not considered organic, but I would really like to know if it is or is not and why that is, uh, because I have not been able to research that out yet. So what you got here is I was just kind of showing you that a little bit there. I have in the back... Um, also citrus leaves and basil, my containers for those. But this right here is my moringa. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed that this container wasn't cleaned when I opened it because I usually clean it every time. And I was really surprised there was still moringa powder in it from last time. <laughs> I was like, ooh. So, but I just kind of use my dried moringa. I do dry the moringa inside because I have heard that if you dry it in the sun, it can steal some of the nutrients. So I, I live in the desert, so it's no problem at all to dry it inside and to dry it quickly. And I just put it in the coffee blender like this. And it takes a little bit. I kind of sped this up for you so you wouldn't have to sit through the whole thing, but it does take a little bit. Uh, to get it as fine a powder as I like to to store it in and I don't bother clean maybe that's why the container was still dirty is I don't bother cleaning this in um, between the banana and the the chopping of the banana the chopping of the eggs because moringa is actually a nitrogen fixer for other plants so if there's a little powder that gets into the banana and eggs and then and then i mix that in with the, the soil of uh, potting soil or planting bed soil but i don't mind if a little moringa gets into it because i know it's good for the plants but i'm trying to because my moringa trees are young and I'm limited on the leaves, so I'm trying to harvest most of that for me. And I did end up deciding to do a big harvest. That's why I had so many leaves. I actually forgot a whole flat of leaves. You see this very, very fine green gold in here. This is what I call green gold. <laughs> and I will show you how I get that out. But um, I, I'm an artist, so of course I have to use a little fine paintbrush uh, that has these stiff, longer parts. And I will just break out the very fine, fine stuff. And you might think I'm a, kind of overdoing it here, but I really do like this fine stuff. I do believe it's easier. The finer, the better, I think. I, I could be wrong. Again, leave the comments below if you don't think it makes that big a difference, that it's easier for the body to, to, to absorb the more chopped up it is. I think your body's going to pretty much do really well at absorbing it anyway. Yet, I don't know. I just really, really like that fine stuff for some reason. I'm like, ooh. You do have to be careful when you are using the coffee grinder. You'll notice in some of the video, I may actually you probably won't because I probably cut it out, that I let it set in between some things. For instance, the eggs here. I'll let it set before I open it and I'll show you why. Because if you open it right away after a grind, you'll at first think it's smoke, but it's not smoke. Here we go. It is so fine. It, it can chop it up so fine that it's literally egg dust and even banana dust. When you do your bananas, you see it floating in the air? You don't want to breathe that. That's calcium floating up in the air. So what I'll generally do is I'll just kind of leave the lid on for a minute and try to let that settle back, set the, settle the particles back down. So here's some dried bananas. I totally forgot to mention we're going to chop up some bananas. <laughs> now the bananas I do let dry out in the sun. Again, would love comments on whether or not that's, this is my coffee grinds. I also put coffee, I save all the coffee grinds and put those in the soil. And maybe those are what's doing this. So here's my Ipomeo. Ipomeo, oh, however you want to say it. Uh, what these are, are sweet potato vines, but they are the sweet potato vines that are more for decorative. I do believe they're edible. I've read that they're edible. Don't eat things when I tell you that you can eat them. I've eaten them. Um, but, um, they taste like a thousand carrots with no sweetener. They're really, really strong. But again, do your research. Don't eat things if you see me eating them. And or, or, and or if I say you can't eat them, please look into it and do your own research and be responsible for your health. Um, plus, just like anything, some people react. But with these, you'll see these are my regular ones with the regular soil over there. It's really hard to see in this clip here, the difference in between this one that I'm touching now 
and the other ones. But this one that I'm touching right now is the brightest. It's a magenta purple. And this one's a green, dark purple. These are, by the way, have a nickname called blackies. They're just, I don't know why I love this plant so much, but I love this plant. So, but if you can see this, the blackie is a different color than this bright, bright purple. Now the bright purple one has got a egg, banana, coffee ground mix. And I was thinking because tomato plants like coffee grinds I like a little bit more acidic I want to see what would happen if I gave this a high potassium acidic calcium soil so that is mixed with a potting soil and I believe it's the Kellogg's brand potting soil but there is there's not that much drainage but can you see this I'm trying to show it's very hard to see in this lighting how much more magenta and purple even the stem is almost completely black and the bugs don't seem to like it as much either. Uh, when I say bugs, I get it. I mean this tiny, tiny little thrift-like ones. So here's the old setup where I just had the racks in the corner. It was a little bit more of a homey feeling. Here it is without the lights. Um, it was just not getting what it needed. And I wasn't fully utilizing all the space. And I think this is going to be a lot better and easier. So thank you for watching and um, join us. Have some fun. Hit the subscribe button. Please like the video. It really helps out. Uh, thank you so much.